Morning, Steve Freight in Chicago with the morning grand comments. Well, it's USDA report day. So 11 o'clock today will be a lot smarter than we are right now concerning world stocks and uh, world carryouts and also U.S. carryouts. A lot of focus uh, possibly on whether or not the USDA adjusts things, um, especially on the export side out of the United States with our pace uh, kind of leading uh, some of the levels needed to get to USDA numbers. We'll also be watching some of the South American production numbers. We saw some uh, government numbers coming out of uh, Brazil that suggest their corn and soybean crops are bigger than what the USDA is using. In Argentina, uh, the numbers are for beans are about the same, but the Argentinian government did lower acres of beans because of some weather problems. They still have a bigger corn crop from Argentina than a year ago. Um, as far as export sales today, we're expecting numbers to show three to 500,000 tons of wheat versus 451 last week. Corn, 800 to maybe a million tons versus 1.1 last week. And beans, five to 800,000 tons versus 624 last week. And we'll see if any bean sales picked up after the Chinese holiday, and we are still hearing that they are looking around to buy beans and, and be watching uh, South American logistics to make sure Brazil exports beans on a timely basis where they may come to the United States and pick up a little bit of demand. Weather-wise, Argentina, rain this weekend, dry next week, and then rains again next weekend. All in all, I think that's a good forecast. Brazil, still dry in the southern areas and some off and on showers in the northern areas, and we'll see if that's going to cause any logistic issues. Yesterday, funds were big buyers of beans, meal. They also were buyers of oil and corn. Continue to hold a big position in the long side in beans, meal, and oil. Big shorts in the wheat, and about even in, in the corn market as we go into the USDA report and as we go into the South American harvest. Farmers here in the United States were big sellers last night in corn as we breached that 370 level in the March, uh, and that continues to offer resistance to the corn market. So again, price-wise, we'll see how the market reacts to the report today, but beans and corn are at the upper end of what some people think is the trading range, and we need some kind of either weather problem or demand news to push through that level um, and go higher. Uh, we could back off from those levels like we have done in the past 30 days, but again, when you back off U.S. farmer selling tends to slow, and for the most part, farmers have sold maybe as much as 80 to 90 percent of last year's soybean crops. So there's not a lot more bushels for them to sell. And again, 11 o'clock, we'll be back with uh, a video telling you what the USDA said and market reaction. As always, these are my thoughts, not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services, and have a safe and profitable trading day.